I mean, I, I, I really, like, I have a little, new level of respect for you. Oh, my God. I do. Hey guys, it's Q with Q Loves Hair bringing you another video about covering those annoying gray hairs. This one's a little different because we're not going darker. We're actually going a little bit lighter while covering the gray. So let's go. The first order of business is the color formulation. Number one, I'm covering her gray, which is making the gray hair darker. I'm also taking her natural color that isn't gray and I'm making it lighter. The third thing that I'm doing is changing the shade of the hair. Therefore, the only option I can use is a permanent hair color. Now I have to say this, all hair color is not created equal when it comes, well, to hair color. But when you're searching for one, use a color line that offers gray coverage, full gray coverage. So for me, the choice is simple. I use Chi Shine Shades hair color and it covers beautifully. I got a lot of questions from my last video about coloring gray hair. So while I'm applying the color, let's just take some time to do some troubleshooting. So if you have colored gray hair in the past and you feel like you just don't get the coverage that you would like, what are some things you can do? What changes could you make? When coloring gray hair, you have to look at three areas. Formulate, saturate, and penetrate. So let's start with formulate. What's your end game? What do you want? Do you want the color blended? Do you want the gray completely covered? Are you lightening the hair? Are you darkening the hair? All of that will determine your formulation. Do you need a semi-permanent? No, <laughs> a demi-permanent or a permanent hair color. If you're lightening the hair and darkening gray color at the same time, you're gonna have to use a permanent hair color. What's your natural level? Where are you starting from and where you're going? All of that plays a part into your formulation. You have to answer all of those questions for a correct formulation. Saturation. It's important to take small sections and maintain control of the color service. So section the hair and then take smaller subsections. Use the color liberally. When you purchase your color, Buy some extra in case you run out. You never know and you don't want to be stuck not having the color that you need. Don't try to make the color stretch. It's not going to happen. Make sure you have enough mixed and then if you run out, mix some more. Last thing with saturation, pay close attention to the hairline. Oh my goodness. You may even have to remove those small baby gray hairs um, between the eyebrow and the scalp but it's better than those gray hairs sticking out like a sore thumb after a fresh color service. Last but not least, penetrate. The goal is to always get the hair color to penetrate into the hair shaft. You can do that in a few ways. Number one, if the manufacturer allows, use low heat, low heat, not high heat, low heat. Something else you can do is apply the color twice. Sometimes with hair color, the second time is the charm. Last but not least, you need to process the hair color fully and completely according to the manufacturer's instructions. Set a timer and wait for this sound. Well, it's the moment of truth. Let's see what we got. The grays have definitely been sent away well, at least for the next six to eight weeks anyway. This was a chemical service, so we're gonna lock in moisture using the Chi Luxury Black Seed Oil. Finally, we're gonna blow dry the hair so you can see the true color results. The skies have cleared up and the gray is gone. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Q with Q Loves Hair, reminding you to take care of what you love. Until next time, bye.